Hello my friends, welcome back, it's episode 80. The war continues, but maybe not for much longer. US morale is in single digits. Submarines, glorious. Nice to be expected. That was a good trade for me. Guess they consider the position untenable. Nope, reinforcement on the front line. Maybe they just plan to operate a ton of stuff into position. Be a great sinking soon. I was expecting it to get damage, but not that much damage. Just don't have enough units to block everything. Oh! 
Oh, well, that's not going to do anything now. Yikes. Nice. that US economy. I need the US out of the war. I'm probably gonna get nuked now. If they take the Philippines, they can nuke me. Which does like 25,000 morale damage. To Japan. There's a British c carrier there. The situation in Japan is critical. Damn, he high rolled. I can't afford this kind of stuff to happen right now. Unfortunately, not having an actual unit, like not having the HQ in the town is going to kill supply in this area. I'll have to move the HQ over here. Maritime bomber. 
more than I can afford right now. Eight <laughs> percent. It's so close. I still haven't seen them taking the penalty for not not defeating Japan fast enough. I don't know when the penalty starts. Everything needs repairs. I am under extreme stress right now. Great idea. Why not bring an anti aircraft gun down here? After all, that's how they're getting the majority of their damage done. Anything I can do to hurt US morale. That means anything I can kill. Seven percent. <laughs> Seven percent. Everything else can wait. This is literally just to try and hold on. The US is losing maybe 2 or 3% of their morale per turn. Japan has just got to hold on for a little bit longer. Maybe if I can take out some US units in the UK that would also push them over the edge. Okay, supply zero, they're done. Can you finish him? Can you finish him? Let's just leave it. Supply zero can't do anything.
I'm taking this out because one, it frees up this to either go down here and push down or to go up here and help with Malta. Also, it does. Um, it uh, damages the UK's morale, which, while better than the US's morale, is still in a very precarious situation. know why we're here. We're here for the oil. It's going to take a couple of turns for me to get my units into position and start repairing, upgrading, I don't know how much defense is here for the enemy but probably not much. Italy has actually now got money. Attack, carrier attack, naval defense. If I were to buy a ship, what does naval guns do for it? No, it doesn't help it attack ground units. Only experience would do that. That's why the experience is so important. If I can get them up. Okay, he's got zero supply, so he can't move. Just gotta hold on. This HQ, I don't think there's any way it can get away from me. That will be another 500 morale. I rolled twice. What a roar. Four action points.
Yeah, I'd love to get that artillery, but actually, the zone of control situation here is bad. Nice. I drained it. Another army bites the dust. Two for four. Is it worth it? Not a hundred percent sure it is. If I go here, I'm not sure I can back back out. there. Okay. I need to make repairs, but I have once again visited great destruction their lines for very little return. Okay, nice. Two action points left. One right here, one right here. Okay, the oil is mine. The artillery is exposed, but that's better than exposing the uh, the HQ. This is a good position as well because uh, this is a bigger this is a bigger town, so I'll be able to fully repair and refit these as long as they don't put too much pressure on me. his attack. 
another heavy tank bites the dust. That would be, uh, yikes. I could do it, though. Damage in return, nice. Okay, this has been once again another one sided butchering. And these one-sided butcherings are eating their morale. Down to 39% now. You can't just keep on taking it. Right, I'm just going to keep buying armies. It's the biggest unit I can buy right now. Five sub weapons are here. Escort carriers. Half the carrier for half the price. Be time to mark for the weapons, I think. Uh, mark five, sorry. solid bombing. percent we knocked another one percent off it's a Spanish fire no it's a Romanian one Reinforcements are coming. That's all I can say. But they're going to be armies, not cores. Because... There's no point in constantly buying cheap cores just for them to get killed, and then me having to rebuy them. OK, 
Okay. I'm going to say that is it for now. Um. Let's get this carrier back. Fully ready. Gotta hold on while the US crumbles. If I sink another fleet, that's it, it's over. That's literally where we're at now. Every kill matters to them. My morale is 87%. <laughs> Even if they nuked me, it wouldn't hurt my morale. It would really hurt my units, though. Italy is going to get rich. No supply and no way to recover it, I think, because it's not connected to anything. I think all these units are going to start dying. With these two units touching this, it won't recover, actually. Uh, there's that rule as well. Towns don't recover if they've got two units next to them. This position is looking really strong now. They're in the position now where these... I just emptied this. We just had it fire a load. These, these are all, apart from this unit, which is okay, but the rest are all ready to crumble. A push here could get so many soft and juicy units, but... Obviously, a lot of my tanks are worn down, so I need to actually repair them. Okay, that's it for now. ETA to the US out of the war. Two, maybe three turns. That's a thousand morale right there, if I could get it. Japan is just struggling for money. Those guys must be out of morale by now. Right? I wonder if damaging units lowers morale, or whether it's just destruction. I've never really thought about it. I'll give that some thought next turn. I'll actually just, when I attack a US unit, I just want to see if damaging it actually does does morale damage or not, whether it's the complete destruction of the unit that actually results in the morale damage. Because at this point their morale is so low that even the slightest, tiniest bits 
matter. I want to put that there, but there's a risk that some unit comes and lands in the town. Which I don't want, because that town is keeping me supplied right now. <coughs> but this guy is cut off, so he's dead. Anyone who lands here will die. Interesting thought, but that is it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.